It's been a while since I covered a good supernatural mystery, and I would like to thank JT for bringing this next case to my attention. I'm surprised I never heard about this before because it is pretty amazing. On June 6, 1994, a 23-year-old Christine and a 3-year-old son Nick were driving along Highway 50 in the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California when they just vanished without a trace. Then about five days later, a woman named Deborah Hoyt and her husband were driving along Highway 50. And they were very tired, so they were both singing to keep themselves awake. And while they were cruising along the highway, they saw something moving on the side of the road, so they slowed down to see what it was. And to their horror, it was a naked woman. Now, they were just so shocked by what they were seeing that they didn't think it was real. They thought that maybe it was some sort of evil prank or a trap. Someone trying to hijack their car, so they just kept on driving. But they did stop at the nearest phone booth to call the cops just in case. Now within minutes after the phone call, the police were at the location where Deborah and her husband said that they saw this woman, but there was nobody there. And I'm not sure if they went with the cops, but the cops drove up and down the highway and there were no signs of this woman anywhere. So they figured just like the Hoyts that this must have been some kind of sick joke. But the next morning one of the officers thought that maybe this wasn't a joke. Maybe it had something to do with the disappearance of Christine and her son. So he went back to the exact location where Deborah and her husband said that they saw this woman. And when he looked over the cliff, he saw a crashed car. So he got down there as fast as he could. Now sadly, he discovered that Christine was dead, but her three-year-old son, after five days, was still alive. And they assumed that Christine must have fallen asleep while driving and then drove off the cliff. And after this case was solved, people started to wonder, did Deborah and her husband see the ghost of Christine? That night where they said they saw this naked woman was at the exact spot where Christine had drove off the cliff. And the cops drove up and down the highway just minutes after the initial phone call and there were no signs of any woman anywhere, making some believe that Christine's ghost was reaching out from beyond the grave to save her three-year-old son. And if all these articles I read about this case are true, then I would have to agree that something supernatural did happen here. Another case similar to this one happened when a woman, Jennifer, and her 18-month-old daughter Lily crashed into a river one very cold night. And sadly, Jennifer died on impact and the car was now upside down and slowly filling with ice cold water. No one saw this crashed car until about 12 hours later. And when the rescuers arrived, they were hoping that nobody was in there because the car was upside down in the middle of a river. And as they were approaching, they heard a woman calling out for help. So this amped up all the rescue workers to get that car out of the river as fast as they could. It was not easy. And when they finally got it out of the water and opened up the door, they were shocked because Jennifer was dead. She died an impact. And the whole time they were trying to pull the car out of the river, they kept hearing a woman's voice calling for help. One of the officers stated, we were down on the car and a distinct voice says, help me, help me. It wasn't just something that was in my head. To me, it was as plain as day. Now, thankfully, the child was still alive, but she was in critical condition. She was very close to death, and the officers, every single one of them, believed that they experienced something supernatural. They all heard a woman's voice calling for help, and it was coming from inside the car, making many believe that Jennifer's spirit was trying to reach out to the living to save her child, who didn't have that much time left. Now, these are two tragic but remarkable and very well documented cases, making us all wonder, could there actually be life after death? Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.